Barnett take on Plymouth Parkway tomorrow in the FA Trophy. I'm joined here with Dean Brennan. Dean, no game in two weeks. How have you managed to adapt uh, to the situation? It's been challenging, to be fair, because we had a lot of momentum um, in the last five or six games. Playing really well. Um, so, yeah, it's been challenging. And we'll see how we come out of it uh, tomorrow night. Um, the lads' attitude has been spot on. Uh, we're very lucky here with our facilities. We've been able to use the gym. We've got... You know, we've got cycling we've been doing, we've done rowing, we've done boxing. Uh, obviously, with the weather being the way it's been, it's been even hard to get onto the 3Gs. So, but uh, all in all, it's been uh, it's been tough, but we're itching to get back out onto the grass, get onto the pitch. Uh, you can smell it off the lads. We take on Plymouth tomorrow, who have been on quite a run to get to this stage of the competition. What challenge are you expecting from them tomorrow? Yeah, the front two link really well for them. They play 3-5-2. Uh, we watched them against Bracknell and we watched the game against Oxford City who they beat in the last round on penalties so yeah it's going to be a challenge no game's easy um, it's obviously a big game for them guys, them guys at Plymouth um, and to be fair to them they've won three games to get to this round um, they did well in the FA Cup as well they did a decent run in that so it's not going to be easy uh, there's no doubt they're going to make it as hard as they can for us and with the game sort of going to straight to penalties after 90 minutes obviously that's something that we, we want to try to avoid as well but um, from our point of view, we've got to get on the front foot and get after them, uh, make them defend as much as we can. We've got to play forward, we've got to run forward and really stick to the standards we've set ourselves in the, in the last couple of months. In the last week, we've seen James Callan go out on loan and Sam Granfill extend his loan. How important is it for our young players to go out and get first team minutes? Yeah, you, which is the only way you learn. It's the quickest way of learning in this business is playing football matches. Um, I know Sam's doing really well. Um, I speak to Gary and Wes Daly over there all the time, doing really, really well. And I know James had a good game Saturday as well. Um, we've got a good relationship with Bedford and Beaconsfield, so um, long may that continue. So, yeah, it's crucial for their development, to be totally honest with you. Uh, it's good to see them doing well. With these departures, does that uh, create some room to bring a couple in? We always have to be creative. Um, look, everyone knows we're in the market for a centre forward. I've said it several times. We're still chasing. It's January soon, so it's food chain, this business. There'll be teams in the leagues above that'll be, miss out on some targets. Maybe our main target is probably toward or fourth on their list. So we've just got to stay patient. Anyone we sign here has got to be the right player for the football club. It has been two weeks since our last game against Wealdstone. How is the team looking uh, for tomorrow? And is there any update to the team? Yeah, we've got about a flu in the camp. Uh, there'll be no Gorman. Um, he's got flu at the minute. He's not well. Uh, Flanagan, he's, he's, he's ill as well. Woods has got an issue as well, just an issue with his chest. So there, it has gone around. Laurie who did have it last week. Uh, Danny Collins had it as well. So it's just that flu season, isn't it? It's that time of the year. So um, there's a couple out, there's a couple missing. So some, someone else is going to get an opportunity. They've got to grab it with both hands. If we're going to be successful, anytime someone steps into the side, they've got to take it with both hands. And, you know, I'll always pick what I feel is the best team. And, it's down to the players. I say this all the time to the players. They pick the team, not me. So whoever comes into the team tomorrow will get their opportunity. they got to grab it. Dean, thank you for your time.